Today, we're going to be testing out Claude 3.5 Sonnet, which literally just came out. And we're going to be creating some one click AI SEO tools. And this is probably more advanced than any other AI model I've ever used before. So it's going to be absolutely amazing to test out for AI SEO. And what we're going to do is start getting straight into this. Now, it's pretty simple stuff, right? So we can go onto Claude.ai, you sign up for a free account. I'm on the pro version just so that I get more messages and I can show you more interesting stuff, but you can do this for free. And then you can go straight into the chat right here and we can say, create a keyword research tool, code it, make it look nice and find me long tail SEO keywords that we could easily rank for. I'm going to hit enter like so. And by the way, you're going to get access to all the prompts from today. So if you want to create your own AI SEO tools with one click, I'll show you exactly how. Plus, I'll give you the prompts today. And what you can see here is it's actually coding the tool in real time. And that literally took one prompt. Now, additionally, what you're going to see in a second is a preview of the tool. So we can actually test and see what it looks like. So it's doing this magic here. Sometimes you might not be able to preview it, but that's why I'm showing you th this in real time so that if there are any hiccups, you can see how I deal with them. So I'm going to say I can't preview it, improve it. Then it's going to roll again and we'll just have to wrestle back and forth with Claude a little bit just to get this pop in. Now, someone actually asked me yesterday, do you need Python installed to run this to actually use the tool? And you absolutely don't. That's the beautiful thing about this. So, for example, if we use probably Claude's biggest competitor, ChatGPT, and we went in here and we said, create a nice keyword research tool, it's just going to give us a load of sucky fluff, as Alex Hormozzi would call it. If we go into Claude, for example, we can actually test it ourselves. And boom, shakalaka, bing bong, we've now got the keyword research tool ready to go, right? By the way, if you want to know how to figure that out, how to actually fix it, what I did was I just pasted the error. So if you have the same problem as me, the same issues, I'm going to paste that into the prompts document as well, which you'll get access to at the end of this video so that you can copy and paste and fix anything you need to as well. So we're going to enter in a C keyword from here and I'm going to put something totally random like mushrooms. So we'll plug that into the keyword research tool and see what it comes back with. And now what you can see here, this is crazy, actually. I don't know whether it's totally hallucinated that information. What you can see here is it's given us a bunch of keywords with the volume, difficulty, and CPC. Now, I would take that with a little grain of salt there because it could be total BS. But I do like the fact that it looks very fancy on the outside. So these keywords, though, are not that relevant, right? So, for example, I can see what it's doing. Like, it's creating a programmatic version of the keyword. So... For example, if we typed in SEO, it would give us variations of the same keywords using that method, right? But it's pretty cool so far. So let's actually test whether this is BS or not, right? What I'm going to do from here is I'm going to plug this keyword into Google and see, okay, is it actually something people are searching for? Because I can test in the autocomplete, right? So if I type in SEO tips, you can see it comes with a bunch of auto suggest keywords right there. Now I'm going to change it to SEO tips for beginners. And it actually does have people searching for that keyword. So it's a genuine keyword. Let's check the next one, how to learn SEO fast. That one actually pops up as well. So the keywords here are actually pretty decent and the long tail, which is what we've asked for. And this is a completely free tool that you can use directly inside Claude, right? Now, if you like something like this, number one, you can export all the data as a CSV. So if you want to export those keywords, you can. It's kind of like a mini SEO tool, right? That you create for free in one click using the prompts that I'm giving you. But the other cool thing about this is that you can just bookmark this chat right here and then just come back to the tool whenever you need it, right? And then if you want to tweak it, if you want to make changes to it, you can do that directly inside the chat down here. Nice. Very, very impressive. Now, I publish videos every single day on AI SEO. I test all the models. I test everything I can. I run a ridiculous amount of experiments. I can tell you now that Claude is by far the most impressive tool in AI that I've ever used. It's absolutely crazy. So let's test it in Ahrefs as well. See if this is actually a keyword that has some data on it and whether it's easy to rank for. So 
you can see it is low competition. There is actually a search volume for it. You can see that it's a genuine keyword. But what I'm going to do from here is just figure out, okay, what's the keyword difficulty like? Is this a low competition keyword that we can realistically rank for? So I'm going to refresh the credits on this, see what it comes back with. And you can see that it's a pretty hard keyword to go for. So yes, these keywords are long tail. Yes, there's actual people searching for them, but they're not that easy to rank for. So what I'm going to say from here is make sure the keywords you give me are low competition. So now it's going to modify the tool for us based on what I want. Now, again, it's going to refresh the preview and we can just come back to it later. But if you do want to refer back to that tool from before, what you can actually do is just click on this and it will open up the previous version of it, right? So this cool thing about bookmarking the chat is that, for example, if you want to refer back to one of the previous versions of your tool, you've got it in the chat history right here. It's all documented so that you can come back to it. So now I'm going to type in a keyword like, for example, birds. We'll plug that in. And it's given us more keywords this time. Plus, it's given us a difficulty score, as you can see down here. Now, if we plug that keyword, for example, like birds for beginners, into Ahrefs, you can see not only does it have a high traffic potential, but also it's got a decent keyword difficulty. And that was incredibly easy to create, right? We literally just typed in the topic. It did the keyword research for us. It found an easy keyword to rank for, and it's actually low competition. Crazy stuff right there. Obviously, Ahrefs does a lot more than that, but it's pretty cool to see. So that is one use case of it. Now, if you want the prompts from this particular video, I'm going to plug that inside this section right here. And from here, what we're actually going to do is start building out more tools. Now, another thing that we're going to do from here is we're going to create a new tool which is a calculator. Now, if you've seen my other videos about calculators and link building and how you can basically use calculators on your website as a way to generate backlinks to your website and also just to improve the quality of your site. Also, there's a bunch of calculator keywords out there. So for example, if we put into Ahrefs SEO calculator, you see that people are actually actively searching for stuff like this. This gets 44,000 searches and there's so many more keywords in pretty much every single niche you can imagine around keywords and tools. So what we can do is inside Claude, we can go, right, create a SEO calculator that I can embed on my WordPress website. Calculate the costs of SEO and then calculate the ROI based on that. Now, normally, if you're using, say, ChatGPT to do this, which it can do, there's a lot of errors, so there's a lot of back and forth, and additionally, you can't preview it, right? Whereas, for example, you can preview the calculator directly inside the UI of Claude, which means that when you're testing it, you can get some ideas on how to improve it, and you can make something much better in the space of like five minutes, not in the space of like two hours messing around, right? And you can see the SEO ROI calculator right here. So you've got the results at the bottom, and then it's got monthly visitors, conversion rate, average order value, monthly SEO costs, and months of rank. Now, what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to say, mate, my brand colors for the legendary Goldie agency are orange, darker orange, and yellowish, right? And so I'm going to say design using these brand colors, and we'll see what that comes back with. Now, you can see that this original calculator UI is just super basic. It's a little bit nasty, if I'm honest with you. It's 2024, not 1995, son. So I'm just going to wait for that to generate, and we'll see what we get back. And it seems to have got a bit stuck there. So I'm going to stop right there. Then I'm going to paste that down here. Then I'm going to get that prompt that we originally put in. And there we'll plug it in here. Now it seems like Claude is broken a little bit there. So I'm going to start a new chat. There we go. And we'll plug in the prompt that we originally used for the SEO calculator. And let's see what it generates from here. And now you can see it's generating it. It's not really designed it in the way that I want it. I'll be honest with you. So it still looks super basic. I'm going to test whether it actually works. Let's calculate the ROI. And it's totally logged me out there. At least you see what's working and what's not. So from here, I'm going to reuse the prompt. And we'll go again, my friends. To be honest with you, it's not using the brand colors at all, which I'm a little bit disappointed with. But you can see the design is slightly nicer. Bit of shadows and that. It's definitely better than using ChatGPT to generate the HTML, but I wouldn't say it's perfect by any means. 
Now, something that I want to test as well is actually taking a screenshot of the website and then asking Claude to create a website using exactly the same theme and colors. I don't know if it's going to work, but we can test it. Let's see if this works. I'm going to say replicate this website and preview to me using modern design and branding, etc. We've uploaded the image, which you can do right here. We'll hit enter and see what it comes back with. Doesn't like that. So I'm just going to say, create a nicely designed website about birds with a modern theme. Now it's starting to code something, so we'll see what it does. And it's actually created something interesting right here. I mean, for example, you've got the space to add an image right here. Then you've got spaces to add images here. It's got the preview of the blog posts, as you can see, with a homepage and then social media links and everything else at the bottom. And then you've got like a start exploring section. Obviously, I think you can change that. It's quite interesting there. So what I'm going to say from here, because I only took like two minutes to do, I'm actually going to try this. So I'm going to say create a website for Julian Goldie and his link building agency, design the whole navigation, insert a CTA to book a free SEO strategy call. Plus, here's his company details. And I'm going to paste in my social media links, plus this bio about me and who I am, etc. It's mocking something up. You can see it's added in a testimonial section right here as well. And there we go. Not bad at all. Right? It's even created the headlines and the copy. It's got the book of call strategy session right here and here in the top right. Obviously, you can't preview it that well because this is kind of like a responsive design. It's not an actual desktop. Then it's got actual links to my social media. For example, like if we go onto my LinkedIn right here, you can see the links actually work. It's got about me information. I can just upload the images. Very nice. Like not bad at all for a one click free mock-up of a website. Better than I expected for sure. So just to recap so far on what we've done, we've created a keyword research machine that actually generates data driven low competition, long tail keywords that we've checked with Ahrefs we can actually rank for and have a low KD. We've created an SEO calculator and obviously you could create a calculator in any niche, any industry, etc. embed that to your website and use that for number one, improving engagement on your website. Number two, ranking for low competition keywords related to tools. And number three, link building as well. And then we've also created a one click website tool using this prompt right here, which you can customize to your website as well. Not bad for a day's work there. Now, if you didn't see my video yesterday, I'm going to recap on a couple of other prompts that I've tested out. So I'm going to use this prompt right here for creating an SEO outline machine. So for example, we're going to plug into Claude, create an SEO content outline tool that analyzes my content, scores my content based on how SEO optimized it is, updates every time I improve the SEO content, right? And we'll hit enter like so. And hopefully that actually creates a, a tool where we can paste in our content. It worked really well previously. Let's have a look today. And yeah. There we have the target keyword, the content, the SEO score. If we get a random keyword, for example, like Florida birds, and we put in the keyword, you can see that it's given us an SEO score and it's told us what we've done already, plus what we can improve. So add in headings and add in relevant internal and external links. But it's actually graded our content in terms of length, in terms of keyword density, and in terms of keywords in the front line. So you can see, for example, that's our keyword and that is the introduction. So we've included the keyword in the first sentence of our article. Finally, now the final thing that I'm going to test is I'm going to plug this into Claude and I will say code a topical map generator for SEO and allow me to preview it, get the tool to come up with ideas for me based on the topics that I type in, come up with 30 categories and 30 subtopics for each category based on my niche. We'll hit enter like so. Now we can enter our niche. So we've got the SEO topical map generator ready to test. So I'm going to put digital marketing in here. Then we'll hit generate. And you can see that it's generated a bunch of ideas for us, but the subtopics are not very good, right? So we'd have to test that. I'm going to say subtopics are blank. You're supposed to come up with relevant subtopics and topics based on what I type in. And now it's going to go again. But I mean, one of the cool things about this is like, this is so rough. 
I'm just a man on YouTube creating videos for you, testing this out within 24 hours of the release, right? Imagine if you actually spent a decent amount of time just focusing on creating one good tool and optimizing it and testing it and tweaking it along the way. Like you could create something absolutely amazing that most people would pay for, but you can do it totally free and it's custom coded to you even if you can't code at all because you're using AI to do it all for you. I think that's the future of SaaS. That's the future of tools from what I can see. So we're hitting generate on that now and it is 10 times better, my friends. As you can see right here, digital marketing fundamentals, advanced types of digital marketing best practice. Now this is looking like a proper topical map. And then you can see under, for example, fundamentals of digital marketing, it's got introduction, key concepts, best tools, how to improve, common mistakes, etc. So good. It's crazy. I mean, you could probably add a little function to that as well and say, let me download it as a CSV. And then you could just download it and automate it that way as well. But either way, absolutely mind blowing. I'm going to plug that into the prompts as well. So I'm going to say, make sure the subtopics are not blank. And that is the topical map maker. All right. And so you've got all the prompts there, like we've talked about. As promised, I've given you a keyword research tool, SEO calculator. You can create your own one click website. You have an SEO outline tool and also a topical map maker. Absolutely mind blowing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this shareable. We'll copy that. We'll slap it into the old SEO course, a free one. Links inside the comments and description. This one right here. It's going to be in the free SEO tool section because obviously you can do this for free. And we'll call that Claude 3.5 Sonnet. And if you want free access to that, you can get it. Links inside the comments in the description for my free SEO course. Just go to free tools and Claude 3.5 Sonnet. Thanks so much for watching. So if you want to get a free SEO strategy session, if you want to personalize everything that we've talked about today to your business, to get more lease traffic and sales from SEO, feel free to book in a free SEO strategy session. We'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 business per month and generate thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot. We'll give you an SEO domination plan. We'll answer any questions you have. You'll discover how to quickly rank your competitors for link building. And this is a one-to-one -one call where we personalize and build a custom game plan to make you more money with your website. All right, thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.